Good evening and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? Are we all doing all right? We are? Yes? Good. That's what I'm like to hear. Okay, so I'd like to continue on that theme about alternatives to subscription boxes. So I did a little looking around, as I've mentioned. I did mention last time when I did the video that there are many online stores and retail stores that have got online platforms that are producing their own beauty boxes. So I went on to Next to see what they had and they had quite a few on the go at the moment, no, on the go at the time. So I ordered two of their boxes. So I've got them with me. They did come at the weekend, but you know how it goes with me. I'm only just getting around to filming this now. So I've got two, so I'm just going to show them to you. <clears throat> and I'm hoping, if I remember correctly, um, one of them has got products in there which I can actually apply on my face. So that's why my face is totally bare i've literally got nothing on my face right now i've been like this all day i haven't worn any makeup all day which is very unusual for me i do normally at least put on um sort of brows and lip gloss and mascara but i've done nothing today but thankfully i haven't had to do a teams meeting right here we go so here's one here's the other oh this one's got a bit of weight to it this one's much lighter so I'm going to open them both I'm not sure which one has got the beauty makeup products in there I think it might be this one because this one does feel much lighter so let's open them up actually I tell you what let me open up the heavier one first and then we will go with it um, I'm pretty certain that one of the boxes is still available on the on the next website and the other one I think is sold out Depending, it's like you know what it's like. If something's good, they sell out quickly. So here we are. This is what it looks like, and hopefully there's, there'll be an invoice or something in here. Yeah, there's an invoice, so I know which one this is. So this one is the okay. This one is the summer box, and it costs twenty pounds. All right. So there we go. You can see it there, isn't it? it hasn't got any private details on it, has it? Let's just fold that over so you don't need to see that. Uh, there you go so you can see summer box and it costs 20 pounds okay let's have a look and see what we've got inside here okay so it looks like that on the inside right let's have a look so we've got a card here that says beauty um, and honestly next are starting to provide lots of beauty products on there so some of these retail stores they really are getting into the whole online platform okay so they've actually got a card that gives all details about the products in there which is actually pretty cool um, what I might do because I'm having a quick look at this some of the products in here may end up inside my giveaway box my giveaway box have we forgotten all about that already okay I've actually got two giveaways going at the moment. So the first one, which to me is the, the, the prime one for my channel. This one started in last month. So when I say last month, we're talking about June here. And if you want to enter this giveaway, obviously there's always a couple of things you need to do. The prerequisites, so to speak. Number one, subscribe to my channel. And two, make sure that your setting is public so that I can see that you're subscribed. So those are the first two things. The, the other thing is that I usually have a video where I start my giveaway. So the video for this one is the BoxyCharm video I did in June. So that June BoxyCharm video will have contained BoxyCharm products from May. Am I confusing you now? Yeah, probably. <laughs> But yeah, what it is, I get my American bead boxes, um, but when I get them, it's usually the month later. So I'm always a month behind in my American Beauty boxes unboxings. So my BoxyCharm video I did in June, that will have the information to for you to enter the giveaway. And you do need to follow the instructions on there. If you don't follow the instructions, if you only partially do the requirements that I ask you to do, then I can't choose you because I do check. So I'm going to check that you are subscribed. I'm going to check that your settings are public so I can see that you're subscribed. 
and then there's going to be the third thing which I've asked you to do for particularly for that video and it needs to be in your comments all right so if you want to enter that giveaway do that and I can tell you now my giveaway box is looking rather full I mean I can just I'm not lift it up here wait a minute oh this is what the giveaway box is looking like right now I mean did you even see this did you even see this this is like 80 90 pounds by itself that's inside the box this box is packed packed all right so my giveaways are good talk to anybody who has won any of my giveaways in the past i'm sure some of them may sort of put comments down below and they'll tell you how good the products are in my giveaways i only do giveaways now probably once every couple of months or so but they're worth it right so let's crack on let's see what's inside this summer box from next which cost 20 pounds so let's pull this out so the first thing this is what's giving it the weight and this is from Bayless and Hardy so this is a brand that very much copies molten brown in some of the design of their products particularly in their hand washes and their bath and shower gels they kind of copy the whole um, molten brown no styling I'd say dupe but they're not no they're not I mean molten brown is into the day they, they do have really good fragrances but here we are so this is the Bayless and Harding one the fragrance here is wild rhubarb and pink pepper antibacterial hand wash this is what we like to hear antibacterial because um, that's one thing that molten brown hand washes aren't they're not antibacterial they smell great but they're not so I don't put the molten brown hand washes in the um, family bathroom or in the downstairs um, toilet because they're the ones that people use the most I tend to put the sort of just fragrant ones in sort of my bathroom or in my daughter's bathroom right here we go so let's have a look so this says this is a chic sink side hand wash so it says a chic I can't read so this says a chic sink side hand wash has begun has become what has become something of a necessity over the last year and this this luxurious smelling rhubarb and pink pepper wash does just the trick. So you know the fragrance they're trying to copy here, don't you? I mean, they're saying pink pepper. Morton Brown have got the pink pepper pot, haven't they? I think it's called pink pepper pot. Let's see if it smells like that. I'm just going to open it up and see if it smells very similar to it. Okay, no, it doesn't smell similar because it's got the rhubarb side of it, that's why. They've got the rhubarb to like sort of take the scent away, but the molten brown one is the pink pepper pot. So here we go. So this is that it's a huge size. It looks like it's 500 mils. Yeah, it's 500 mils. That's a huge size. This will go in my downstairs water closet, WC, because I'm being posh. Well, that's, that's the first item. The second item I'm pulling out here. Oh, this is a bit of a doozy. This is a good one. Oh, this is really nice. I might keep this one. This is from Lizal. So Lizal products, they're not cheap. Lizal products aren't cheap. Just, just saying, they're not. Um, my daughter loves her uh, cleanse and polish. That's, that is my daughter's favourite um, cleanser. And that's something that she's been using since on her since she turned a teenager um because it's really worked for her skin and it's kept it's kept her acne free basically i mean she has blemishes but she just uses that for a couple of days i know her skin will clear up anyway that's not this this is this product here so this is from liz Earl and it's the skin repair gel cream i think i think this is one of the newer products they've got it's like a lighter moisturizer um so what they're saying here is so this um promising up to 72 hours um, worth of hydration this luxurious everything is luxurious this luxurious gel cream has a refreshing cooling effect on the skin which helps to soothe oh nyx shine and balance excess oil yeah this one is definitely for me usually when i see a moisturizer says gel then i know it's going to be for people like myself who've got oily skin so more suitable for people with um, combination oily skin so this one i'm definitely keeping and I'll probably start using, I mean, I'm using, what am I using at the moment? I've got a couple of moisturisers I'm using, but this is what this looks like. I wonder how much this costs. What I will do, I will put the price of these products um, on the screen 
next to me sort of probably appear on that side of the screen but that's what it looks like so it's a very light looking moisturizer oh that's good that is good you know what I didn't moisturize my face today can you imagine I literally washed my face this morning and my intention was was to do this video first thing this morning before I started work but as I sort of came down into the study I heard my work phone go so I picked it up there was a message from somebody and I in instantly just went into work mode and that was it so I didn't actually get to and that's why I didn't get to fix my face so I've had no moisture on my face all day and it's already well I've blotted my face a couple of times already so you can see the shine but yeah I mean my face isn't clean but I want to try this to see what it's like just want to see how light it is oh that feels really cold oh it feels really cold which is nice it's got a light fragrance yeah this is definitely for me Don't you think that's actually mattified my face a bit? It has a bit, hasn't it? I'm not seeing things, am I? Am I? Don't think so. Oh yeah, quite like that. Oh, pleased about that. So definitely keep in there. That's not going anywhere. That is mine. Right, next we've got um, a nourishing collagen olive oil rose face mask. And this is from Beauty Pro. So this is a brand we see quite a lot on beauty boxes. So this, they say, is a Beauty Pro Norris and Sheet Mask. Um, prep your complexion to, to face the world with this award-winning face mask. The clear combination of collagen, olive oil and rose extracts deeply nourishes and hydrates the skin. Yep, that sounds wonderful to me. I, I do love a sheet mask, so I'm more than happy with that. And um, so far, nothing's going in the giveaway box. Sorry about that. Right, next we've got... Um, Right, so we have got their Real Magnet Mascara. I've got full size of this and I've got a sample of this. So I will probably put this in the giveaway box. But saying that though, I think I've probably got another, I think I've got a couple of mascaras in the box already. So I might save this one for the next giveaway box. So this is the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. I do like this mascara, it's really good. Um, so this clever mascara combines a magical magnetic core brush with a mineral rich formula that draws out lashes um, to extreme lengths expect longer looking fuller lashes in in just one sweep and it is I mean I think personally that it does do everything they've just claimed it does give much longer lashes it gives the volume and it gives the curl so it kind of does three other things that you really want from your mascara it's really cool you do two sweeps of this and you're happy days really happy days so i'm just going to put this in the giveaway box for now but i'll probably sort it out and it may end up going into the, in the next one right next few more things in here we have got oh from lord and berry oh god you know i don't like this brand so this is lord and berry so this is the lord and berry um, crayon lipstick this is a makeup bag must have this creamy crayon lipstick allows you to scribble on a gorgeously soft lip on the go shades may vary per box okay so it might not be red let's see what color I've got I might be lucky it might not be a bright red let's see no it's a bright pink <laughs> that, that looks like a, a pink to me not my kind of color so I am going to go ahead and put that in the giveaway box as well. And again, I will put the price of the products on the side of my screen here when I do my editing later. So over there that goes. All right, next is this. This is from um, This Works. This is another typical um, beauty subscription box product. So this is from This Works and this is the Stress Check Mood Manager. Oh, we got one of these in a box recently and I think I gave it to my daughter. She said she quite liked it. I think it's like a roller ball and you just kind of put it on your, on your, what she does, she put it on her wrist and then when she goes to bed at night, according to how she sleeps, she says the fragrance kind of, it just helps. She says it's nice. So. So here we go. So um, this so this relieves feelings of stress and restores a a sense of calm wherever you may be with this instant mood balancing fragrance. It's a real handbag must have. So there you go. Probably the sort of thing you just keep in your handbag if you know you're going to be feeling stressed or you're starting to feel stressed. You just kind of 
will waft it over your temples or wherever you know you'll need it and it'll do the job so I'm probably going to give this to my daughter again see if she she wants it okay so there's that and there's more and there's more so this is from oh Dermalogica that's another um, a very expensive um, skincare range but this is a proper expensive one not a made up skincare range so Dermalogica and this is a stress positive eye lift okay um, so here we are Dermalogica stress, stress positive eye lift so leave the stress of lockdown at home with this two-in-one high performance eye treatment and um, eye treatment and mask it helps so this is the Dermalogica um, stress positive eye lift so leave the stress of lockdown at home with this two-in-one high performance eye treatment and mask it helps to energize skin and reduce visible signs of stress puffiness and dark circles so there you go um, i wonder if this is a full size or if it's a deluxe sample size because eye creams don't tend to be very big anyway so i do wonder about that um this might end up in the giveaway as well so i'll put this over there because I've got a hell of a lot of eye creams and eye products and if it's made by Dermalogica I know it's going to be decent so there you go right a couple more things in here oh it's a perfume so this is from um, Moschino and this is Toy 2 Bubblegum Ooh, bubblegum sounds a bit sweetie doesn't it so this is from Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum Eau de Toilette um, this floral and fruity so this is floral and fruity. This feminine fragrance is the perfect, perfect new season. So this is floral and fruity. This feminine fragrance is the perfect new season scent, blending zesty Italian fruit with sweet bubblegum and soft musk. Well, I like the soft musk side of it. Um, it's a warming and seriously playful. Let's have a look and see what the bottle's like. So it looks like the full size looks like it's a kind of a bear thing. Let's have a look. Oh, well, that's cute enough. There you go. That's what it looks like. I wonder what it smells like. Okay, so it's got a kind of little stopper. Right, I'll just leave it there and see how it settles on my skin. This might be one, ooh, it's starting to waft up to my nose already. This is this might be one I'll give to my daughter as well, you know, for the days when she's with her boyfriend. She's just asked me if he can have a sleepover. What am I supposed to say to that? What am I supposed to say to that? Because he does live, a, he lives a fair distance away. He lives about 30 odd miles away. Um, and he gets a taxi every time he comes down here. So he's just left about an hour or so ago. Um, and they see each other sort of once a week. Um, and they're, they're great for each other. They're, they kind of both help each other with their nerves and their stress. And they're great for each other. But they're also in that age group, you know, 19, 20 years old. I don't want to be granny yet I really don't and she was just asking me oh, if he could sleep over because it's just less hassle for him for the journey home because it's like an hour's drive home and I'm sort of thinking I don't want to say no but at the same time I'm thinking 1920 you know, they're that age group I don't want to be a granny I've spoken to them both I spoke to both of them but so I don't know so I just said to her, speak to your dad, <laughs> see what he says. Oh God, I know I'm a coward, I'm a coward, can't help it. Right, so this is, um, this next product is from Herborium. I feel like I've heard of this brand before and this is a pink primer and care. Right, so what's this? Uh, Herborium, so this is... Well, it's obviously a primer. So this is prepare your skin for makeup with this flawless finish primer. It works to um, blur pores, hydrate and enhance your skin's tone and dewiness. Oh, magic words, dewiness. I'm not into dewy because I'm very, very oily. So I'm probably not going to keep this one. So this may also be going in the giveaway. Let's put this over there straight away because I know if it says dewy, I don't need it. Right, and here we've got a sample 
Oh god, it really is a tiny sample. Look at the size of that. I mean, the picture shows that. So I was thinking it would be at least, I don't know, a third of the size of the bottle. Not this little tiny sample. This is sort of something they give free, isn't it? So this is from MAC and this is a Prep and Prime Fix. Um, so this cult favourite um, facial mist can be used as an instant hydration booster to set your makeup or to refresh your look throughout the day. It's a beauty hero. I mean it is. I mean a lot of people use it. It is a cult product. It's been going for years and years and years. So yeah, there you go. So that's just disappointed in size. Look at the size of it. It's pathetic. Um, <laughs> Look, it's so small, it's just dropped out onto my lap. What I'll probably do is put this inside the giveaway box as well because I don't think I've got any primers in there at all or setting sprays. Oh God, it's so small, it keeps on dropping out. Isn't it? Right. <laughs> so I'm catching it between my, my knees. Right, let's just put this away. So that was the first box and that cost £20. What do we think about the value? What are we thinking? I'm thinking, um, I think for me the value is in the perfume, this mask, um, this definitely, this Liz L product, because I'm sure this is more than £20 by itself, and this antibacterial hand wash. To me, this is where the value is. Everything else is just extras for me. So, yeah. But what do you think? What do you think? Hmm? Let me know. So that's the first box. Um, I really am happy about that Lizelle gel moisturiser. Right, let's show you the second one. So this box, I believe, is the one which has got products that I can put on my face. So let's see if I remember correctly. I probably haven't, but we'll see. Yeah, I did. I remember it correctly. So this was a, a Laura Mercier box. So it was just a, I, think, I can't remember what they called it. It was something like a first beauty. So it's like a helicopter. Um, we get the Coast Guard helicopters flying around sometimes, especially if someone's lost at sea or they've gone missing in the water or something. So that looks like the helicopter's going around. So something's happened again. So I'll probably circle again soon. So I'll try and finish this video before then. So this is the next beauty um, Laura Mercier box, and I think what it was, it was like a, it was called First Beauty or something like that. Here's the invoice. So the invoice of this, so this one, this box cost thirty three pounds, and yeah, it was just called a Laura Mercier box. And it's thirty three pounds. Pretty certain it's not on the website now. I think it's sold out. So let's open this up and see what we got in here. It was the box that didn't weigh very much. Right, so we've got a leaflet in here again. Oh, there's only four items in here. Okay, so let's see, what have we got? So, first thing we got, ah, oh, that's it. The box was called the five minute face box. That's what it was called. So the first item we have in here. It's 33 quid, I'm just looking at the size of the products in here. 33 pounds feel like I've been ripped off. Right, here we go. So Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer. So that's this. Um, here we go. So Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer. The first step in your flawless face routine. Prep your skin for makeup with this lightweight hydrating primer. It creates the perfect canvas for a long lasting natural base. Okay, so yeah, it's really small. Again, I don't know how much the full size of this is, but I will put that on um, the screen. Well, I've got moisturiser on, so I might as well put this primer on. It's hydrating, but I wanted to put some products on, so let's do this one. It's late in the evening. It's not like I'm not going anywhere now, so I'm only going to wash it all off again. Okay, so it's white, so it's sort of a whitish pink colour. And let's put this on. If you notice, I'm kind of concentrating on the outside areas of my face and my forehead, because this area, my eyes look really tired, don't they? They look really red. Um, cause this area, my upper cheeks and my nose are just, you no know, oily city 
really are. So I'm just concentrating this on the outside of my face. Wow, my eyes are really tired. That's what happens when you spend the whole day looking at a flipping computer screen all day long. Okay, so here you go. So that's the first product. Then next we've also got, oh, oh, it's only a small size, but hey, it's all right. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent um, Loose Setting Powder. This is one of the best loose setting powders out there. I've tried a lot and I, I would still say this is one of the best out there. It's just that it's quite pricey. So that's why I never buy the full size of it, but I do like it, really like it. And I prefer the translucent one to the brown colours one, which is supposed to be made for darker skin. I think it's because the brown one I find is a little bit too red in undertone for me. Whereas this one, it is proper translucent. It doesn't leave a white cast on my face, so I really like it. So the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, it sets makeup in place with this clever translucent powder, perfect for those who still like to glow. It's ultra finely milled to lock your makeup in place um, for up to 16 hours without um, settling into imper um, um, settling into imperfections. Um, they're saying on this, on this leaflet here that the contents of this box is worth over £67. I wonder what part of it is worth over £67. It's probably the powder because the powder is quite expensive. So there you go, that's what the powder. There's a good amount here actually, I shouldn't really moan. That's quite a fair amount. I am just going to, did I put the primer on? I did. I am just going to set my primer now with powder because that's what I normally do. I normally moisturise put a primer on and then I set my primer with powder because I have got oily skin. So let me do what I normally do. So I'm just gonna There we are. So you can see my face is completely matte now. So that for me is perfect. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put on some Laura Mercier foundation. Might as well continue. So I have got some Laura Mercier foundation here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Um, it's the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. It's this one here and I've got it in the shade, I think it was called 6N1. Yeah, I've got it in the shade 6N1. So I'm just gonna put some of that on and then I'll be back to you in a second. Okay, so I've put the foundation on. I forgot how good this foundation is. So just to remind you, it's the um, Laura, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I really forgot how good it is. It's just such a perfect coloring for me. It goes on lovely, it's a really nice finish. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so moving on. So we've already done the translucent powder, we've done the primer. So next we have a, um, we've got a blush. So we've got a Laura Mercier blush colour infusion in ginger. Uh oh, uh oh. So they're saying wake up your complexion with the sheer powder blush. The long lasting natural look looking cheeky colour is perfect for giving your skin a healthy flush you notice they don't say that it's suitable for all skin tones so I actually worry the color doesn't look like something that might work for me but let's see how it translates and um, they've got a pro tip here it says when it comes to blush it all comes down to placement for a rounded face shape place blush high up on the cheekbone so it's up here to streamline the face and create definition if you want to create balance in a longer face adding a flush of color to the apple of the cheeks can add volume and complement your look and that's from michael laura mercier um artistry and education director right let's have a look and see what this color is i'm a bit nervous because that color looks rather pale i mean i can't see that color don't buy that print it doesn't look like a color that's even a blush um, but there we go. So that's the packaging. That looks like it could be a full size product. I can't see a blush being any bigger than that. So it could be full size. Yeah, this colour ain't for me. That colour's not for me. Oops, it so just dropped the, the protective sleeve. Yeah, that colour's not for me. That's a shame because it looks really good. Look at that. It's got the whole um, mirror and everything. Uh, but that's not a colour for me. Oh, that's such a shame. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do with that. 
um, I will either sell it on eBay or I will put it in my giveaway box. Let me just get the protector sleeve. Yeah, I'll either sell it on eBay or I'll put it in the giveaway box. We will see. Or I might put it in the next giveaway box. I will see. But that's such a shame. But as soon as I saw that colour, I thought, nah, that ain't for me. It's probably the highest value in the box, isn't it? It's just the same story really isn't it? It doesn't matter. I'm, I've bought this one. It's not even a subscription box and I'm still having an um, issue about products not being suitable. But I kind of picked up on that. As soon as they said that it'll give you a healthy flush of colour and it, they didn't say it's suitable for all skin tones. I knew there might be a problem. Alright so what I'll do I'll find another blush and I'll put that on. So let's get a brush I've got so many brushes in front of me I don't even know what to use right let's use the old Sigma and I will use you know what I'll use I'll use this I'm kind of liking this I've been reaching for it a lot so um this is one we got in glossy box I think was it last month June I've been wearing it you can see I've been wearing it looking a bit battered so what did I say up on my upper cheekbones for round face which I have got this eye is so red, oh my word. I'm just gonna have to take my contact lenses off soon. So I'm literally just gonna do this video and then call it a day, because this eye looks like, so I do, you need sleep. Okay, right, there you go. That's enough, I think. I think you can see that. That's disappointing, disappointing about the blush. Right, let's moving on. So moving on, we have, um, we've got a mascara. It looks like so we've got a mascara and it's Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara now I think I've tried this mascara before and I think it's actually pretty good so we've got a little one here and it says this indulgent um, volumizing mascara fans out lashes for a full and fluttery finish plus the glossy black formula conditions and nourishes lashes for a soft feel um, soft feel touch so I will put that on but I feel like I need to put some um, eyeshadow on because why is looking bare apart from this red one so I have got some of my Laura Mercier caviar little stick eyeshadows here I got these when I um I was invited to sort of participate in a little sort of promo for Laura Mercier in Fenwick in London was it last year it wasn't last year it was 2019 wasn't it it's nearly two years ago so I think I'm just going to put some of these on It'll give me a nice little, just a nice look. So I'll just do this quickly. And it's something I can just do with my fingers. So I'm just going to literally put that on like that. Blend this out. Just emphasising how red my eyes are. Right, I'm just going to go in with this colour here. Go onto my brow a little bit. Because this is all supposed to be about a five minute face, isn't it? So I'm just going to use, this is the colour I should use all over my lid. So a bit more my kind of colour. I just realised I use one of my magnetic eyeliners. I just reach for it without thinking, to be honest. Never mind. All right, so let's do the mascara. If this mascara is not good enough, then I will put the full side lashes on might as well look at the size of that head so that's a good old head so that'll give fluffy lashes okay so the mascara is okay it's all right I mean again if you want that quick look in the morning that, that's fine that's fine it does the job I remember it being a sort of decentish mascara and the final product inside this little kit was a Laura Mercier Rouge Essential a la Rose and it's complete your look with a final sweep of satin lipstick that this light dusky pink is the ultimate your lips but better shade for all skin tones so you notice they say all skin tones here so this should be suitable for me so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put on a lip liner first because I don't trust any brand when they say all skin tones so let's just put a lip liner on so this is the one I got inside that cult beauty box okay so this is what the lipstick looks like it's just a little mini but to be honest 
who needs a full size of a lipstick does anybody ever use up the all of their lipstick down to the to the little nub oh can't open it oh how do i open it Right, that's what the colour looks like. It's a very bright colour. It's not a kind of colour I would normally go for. I mean, it might work on my skin tone. It's just not a colour that I would normally choose. But I've put the dark lip liner on, so hopefully it should balance it out and make it work to my taste. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, so I think that works like that. So there you go. That's what we think. What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? So in this kit, this little box costs £33. At the moment, it's not appearing on the website. So I'm assuming it's sold out. I don't know if they're going to restock. Don't know. I mean, it sold out very quickly because it was literally only on last week. It's the first time I saw it last week. So it did sell out very quickly. But in this kit, we got the little lipstick. We've got the translucent powder, which I'm really happy about. We got the mascara. What did we get? We got the little primer. So again, the primer's fine. I mean, I will use this primer. And we got the blush, which was not suitable for my skin tone, which I'm really upset about, actually, if I'm being honest, because this is probably full size. It's probably of a high value for the box and it's not suitable for me which is a bummer complete utter bummer but they're saying this look is it's a five minute look and it would this would give you a nice five minute look it really would it would be a nice presentable look if you just want to do a quick little ch -ch 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 before you went out the door it would really work i mean what i've got on now um i think it looks nice i'd be happy to go out like this happy to go to work even if i'm sitting at home by myself in the study but you know this is a face i would be happy to go out with but guys what do you think 33 pounds for the box I think if everything works out fine for you, so if all the products work, hint, hint, the blush, then I think this would be a really good value box. But as I've mentioned before, do look out for these boxes. Um, Next are always introducing new boxes on their website. They've always got something new in. And it seems like they come up with new boxes like every month, every couple of weeks. So just look out for them. Most of the time the boxes cost £20. You've seen the size of the products in there. You do get your value. So yeah your choice and again i just think they're an alternative to receiving subscription boxes because it's chances are you're going to get products that you actually want rather than in a subscription box you don't know what you're getting <laughs> and quite often it's repeats or it's products you've you've received before especially if you're a, a subscription box junkie like myself but there you go what do you think let me know down below yeah yeah just let us know what you think down below um i like the products disappointed about the blush okay and before i go just to remind you i've got the giveaway going at the moment so i've got two so we've got the main one which i'm doing which um finishes this week so it finishes on the 31st i don't know what day is the 31st is that saturday so yeah i think it's saturday is the 31st that's the last day of my main giveaway and then i've also got the odyssey box giveaway going as well so you need to go to the odyssey box video to find out the details for that but the main thing you need to do is to follow odyssey box on their Instagram. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? I'm giving you all of this fresh, unbiased, slightly unbiased, um, unbiased opinions from a proper customer who's willing to go out and spend her money to give you an impression of the products. All right, there you go. Take care, look after yourselves.